So I just finished watching the new Spongebob movie, Saving Bikini Bottom, the Sandy Cheeks movie, or the Sandy Cheeks story, something like that. And holy shit, what a piece of crap that movie is. I have outwardly put my disdain towards recent Spongebob in my videos, I, like this is pretty much a Spongebob channel at this point. And this movie is, should be a war crime. I'm pretty sure it violates something of the Geneva Convention against like torture, because I'd say I have a pretty like a uh, big tolerance to bad movies, but this was the first movie ever that I had to force myself to watch. Like I, halfway through, not even halfway, more than halfway, I almost stopped watching it because of how bad it was. I felt physically ill from the movie. So if you haven't seen it, don't, but I'll explain what the plot is to you so you can understand how stupid it is. The premise is that it's about Bikini Bottom being dug up by this big science company that Sandy Cheeks apparently works for, and I'll get into that later. So they can- so all the people from Bikini Bottom can be turned into marketable plushies. And the only people left when Bikini Bottom is dug up is Sandy and Spongebob, so they have to go to Texas to go save the rest of Bikini Bottom. But that premise, by itself, is not a horrible premise. It's probably the worst one out of all the Spongebob movies, but it's not a horrible premise. However, the way this movie is done and the way it's paced and like the whole plot of everything is so abysmal, I like- I was speechless watching the movie and I'm still speechless now. My main complaint is how they portray the characters. Sandy does not just- like Sandy barely acts like Sandy would, and especially people like Spongebob. Spongebob in this movie is a complete idiot. And yes, I get that Spongebob is meant to be a stupid character, whatever, but he's never ever this stupid. In the movie, he is completely useless the entire movie, and he just acts like a the whole movie, and doesn't do anything, he's just there for comic relief. Now my issue with this is yes, Spongebob isn't a serious character, but in the past movies, when there are actual stakes and Bikini Bottom is actually at stake, Spongebob locks in. Like in the second one, when the like the formula and everything is gone, he even teams up with Plankton. Like that's how serious it gets and he becomes like a serious character for a bit, but still. He has humility to him and he can become serious, like he's not always just cartoony. In this movie, no. Probably because they wanted to give the spotlight to Sandy, but still they could have made him a bit more serious. Like literally in one scene when Bikini Bottom is being scooped up by a crane, he's just unaware and he's being like an idiot. Another big issue the movie has is retconning. It's a common thing now in modern Spongebob because they've just run out of ideas so they have to retcon stuff. But and it, ha and it was an issue in the third one with the whole Camp Coral stuff, but that's been figured out, I guess. Apparently, in this movie, Sandy comes from a family of circus people, which is which has never been established before, by the way. And just no. And also, it's apparently that she worked for a science company called Boots, which was never in the show anyway. Sandy has always been an independent scientist. And there's even a episode where she tries to impress other scientists. Like, that are not in any corporation, just that she's trying to impress them. So, bunch of retconning there, and then they add a new character just for, like, no reason, which is called Sparky. It's like this robot horse that doesn't fit into the Spongebob universe at all. Like, the, the style of the horse compared to every other character is just, no, it doesn't fit. There's also the animation of the movie. The movie has a similar animation to the third one, Sponge on the Run, and the Sponge on the Run animation is incredible. I love the animation in that movie, it's really pleasing to the eyes and it's just good animation. In this movie, I don't know why, maybe they didn't have enough time or they had a lower budget, the animation just isn't good. It's the same style as Sponge on the Run but it's just way worse. Like there are some times when the CGI is horrible, the lighting on the characters is really like off-putting, the detail on certain characters, like the character design on certain characters is just like weird and to be honest the cgi in general is just weird so i don't know why that is maybe they just didn't have enough money like the budget for this one was less or something like that but either way animation's not it's just not good and speaking of bad cgi we have the villain of the movie the villain of the movie is this woman scientist or like ceo of the company that acquired sandy's science company called tsunami 
two different names, by the way, Sue and then Nami, to, to funny. But the whole point, like, the whole thing of Tsunami is that she wants to turn all the Bikini Bottom, mem like, citizens into marketable, into marketable plushies. Not plushies, but, like, to clone them so they can be turned into toys so people can play with them. And her motive behind that is because she liked sea creatures so much when she was little, but couldn't cuddle with them because they would die outside of the water. That's her motivation. No more Plankton having motivation for stealing the formula because it's a lifelong rivalry. No, it's just this woman that wanted to do it. By the way, the acting of the like human characters in the movie is abysmal. Not saying the actors are bad, like there are decent actors, it's just their acting, maybe it's a script or something, is just not good. And for some reason, what, like in the scenes that involve the like human characters, they just add sound effects to everything like it's a cartoon. And there's just random characters that they add, like Sparky, and there's this weird goldfish monster thing that is added for no reason, and there's not even a payoff to the goldfish character. They just add it, and it's like weird, it looks demonic, and it's just... Listen. Nickelodeon, what are you doing to my favorite IP? They're ruining it. And then recently, for the 25th an this is the 25th anniversary movie, by the way, the big 25 and the big 25 year anniversary, and they release this as the big thing. This, and then they put SpongeBob stuff on Discord. That's what we get for 25 years. Like, yes, I understand that this movie isn't made for me, but I thoroughly enjoy the other three SpongeBob movies. They are all good movies. This one just isn't. And they just they just spend all the time on the movie on the non-important things. Like fam like Sandy's family is not important to the movie whatsoever. O also, another bit of retconning that I forgot. You know how in the second movie they had to have a magical dolphin give them powers so they could breathe on land? No, that's that's not a thing anymore. They can just breathe on land now. And the solution to that is because they they mention it, how Spongebob can't breathe on land, and the solution is Sandy sprays him with a hydration spray that lasts for a bit, and then he the fix to him not having it anymore is not another spray, it's he drinks water from a cactus, and then he's good for the rest of the movie. What? Once they get into Texas, they, they encounter, like, and they get to this water park where the science lab is, and then they get swept away by the tornado because Texas, whatever. And then they encounter like snakes, cowboy snakes that, you know, like the snake from Rango? That snake, but less cool. And there's a bunch of them. And then the Sandy family comes in and there are a bunch of circus archetypes that are just in the movie for like a fraction of it. And then don't add anything whatsoever. They don't build Sandy's character or anything. There's no like fight between the family. No. It's just like, and the end of the movie has this really weird message, like, most of the Spongebob movies have a good message, have a good, like, thing. This one has a really weird message, like, they sing a song at the end, and it's just, like, the undertones of the song, like, the subtext is just, like, really disturbing. And another thing I wanted to mention, the stakes in this movie do not feel big at all. Like, yeah, it is big stakes, but... They just don't feel like it. Like, in the other Spongebob movies, it felt like there were stakes. The first one, Mr. Krabs is actually gonna die if they don't find the crown. And then Shell City is seen, like, shown as this, like, horrible place with a Cyclops doing it. And then at the end of the movie, the emotional climax of Spongebob and Patrick thinking they're gonna die. It's just a lot of stakes, and it actually impacts the viewer. Second movie, uh, the whole of Bikini Bottom goes apocalyptic, and the formula is gone that's pretty big stakes third movie didn't really have that stakes there but still it was a good movie fourth one you just don't care because it happens so quickly and they don't let it set in that like you never get to appreciate what is happening because they just don't give the viewer time to and it's like they don't care about what's happening in the movie they just want more stuff to happen and then there's like there's loads of points in the movie where they just try to appeal to nostalgia and like add in little bits because 
modern Spongebob does this a lot where they add in like little memes from back when Spongebob was good to try like rekindle the flame of how Spongebob was good and it's just sad. All I hope is that this movie does not end up birthing a spin-off with Sandy. That's what I hope. As long as it doesn't do that, it will still be a 1 out of 10. If it does that, then 0 out of 10. So Nickelodeon, just what are you doing? You act you, like it's genuinely upsetting what they're doing to SpongeBob, and I think they need to just stop. They should have stopped when Steven Hillenburg died, and now they'd have to like they should just pack it in. Like I've even seen clips of Tom Kenny's voice, like you can hear him getting older. So just leave the guy alone and stop the show, okay? Just say everything past like season eight or the no everything past the third movie. No. Because the third movie is like a different timeline. Everything past the second movie does not happen. And the real canon ending is that Spongebob becomes manager of the Krusty Krab 2. Boom. Thank you very much for watching and don't watch the new Spongebob movie. Because you might actually kill yourself and I don't want to be responsible for that. So I'll see you next week.